have mine up though because it messes me up for some reason. Let me know when. Once I see the live, I'll. I think we should be live. I'm closing my YouTube. I'm good. Yeah, I'll put the full screen on until I. You're good. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the stream, guys. It is Cat Banter episode 19. Um, we will be starting our show in a couple minutes. So just bear with us. We had a slight delay as we were distracted by basketball. I'll post the links. What's up, Rich? What's up, John? Sneaky Joe, what's going on? What's up? Think of how fun this will be when we have weight music. <laughs> mm-hmm. Turning this off. I think we got it, right? I guess if there's a miracle comeback, someone will tell us. We get started yeah right. hey guys welcome to the stream this is cap banter episode 19 it's your homie leon here with my fellow co-hosts uh, pierre and jason um we have a really interesting show planned for you guys today we're gonna um introduce a new segment called uh, keepers sleepers and weepers where uh, the three of us choose, I guess, our favorite hat of the week. A um, uh, hat that really kind of surprised us and a hat that uh, we didn't like. So hopefully you guys do like that segment. And we will be moving mm -hmm. our uh, regularly scheduled uh, This Week in Caps. We'll be doing it on Saturdays now, just so we can kind of synchronize with uh, Jason's top nine and also get somewhere that we can kind of synchronize and have the whole week just done it done done in one shot basically so hopefully you guys enjoy um yeah so you guys have anything to say before we start the segment no i think we're ready to go i think it's it'll be interesting to see how this new format works but um i'm excited and, and you know we have a lot of cool stuff coming right we're gonna up the production value so yeah i'm excited for that i can't wait to see what that looks like but for now i guess um in our more in our more primitive form, we'll go through this new format for now, and um, I'm sure um, I'm sure it's still going to be a great time. I'm ready. Let's hope the screen share works this time. Hold on a sec. Do you guys see that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. We do. Wait, this isn't the slide I wanted to go to. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. We're already we already got stuff. Already messing with stuff here. What the heck happened? Sorry. Hold on. We had it open. By the way, have we mentioned we're looking for an executive producer as well? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we definitely we definitely need some type of uh intern. <laughs> Where did it go now? When I'm when I'm under pressure, I start to start to clam up. Hold on. Why isn't this working? Hmm. 
I think you're in the wrong slide. Okay. There we go. So this week in caps, um, a lot of cotton candies dropped this week from Hat Club. Um, Pierre, you went heavy on the cotton candies, right? Which one were your your, your favorites? Um, well, I the two I got already, the twins and the um, Expos were really nice. Um, I do think they're better in hand because the patches they look really they look really like mellow here, but they actually do they they actually do stand out a little more than this suggests. Um, I, I like them. I like them. I mean, um, I don't like all the ones with the white logos. I didn't get um, that LA. I think that's 81, right? I didn't get that one. Um, there's a, there, there's several with the white logos that I didn't get. Like I didn't get Cincinnati either. Yeah. Did, uh, did the Boston one arrive? That one kind of looks a little muted based on the pictures. How's that one in hand? I don't have that one yet. There's a bunch like coming that should be here on Tuesday, but the mail is going to be a day behind because of Labor Day. Mm -hmm. um, but I probably have like 10 or 11 of these coming. So I'll get those posted up on Instagram so people can get a good feel for them. But I will say um, they do look better in hand than they do in these photos. Cool. Yeah, you uh, showed off a couple of them live on our, my top nine. And I got to say, I agree with you that the pink really pops a lot more than what these pictures are. Yeah, like that twins uh, one. I know you like you would prefer the M, but that that twins yeah, no, logo, that TC like, logo was awesome. Yeah, the Twin Cities, like the way the way they kind of split the T and the C color wise is is beautiful. And that Atlanta one was a sleeper. Yeah, it really was. I was a big fan. I don't of that. think I picked up that Atlanta one. No, uh, that one went really, really, really fast. Um, but again, there's pre order coming for these, so yeah, pick up as many as you want. I think anything with uh, with the pink and the blue highlights, they really went quick. And then the ones that were kind of interesting is the ones that kind of stuck to almost the team colors. Like Florida didn't really change their colorway yeah. anymore. But it almost didn't feel like a cotton candy. And then the Blue Jays look like they, I don't think, made any changes to the Blue, the Blue Jays, Jays too. And also um, the Tampa Bay Rays didn't really change much either. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't I – didn't... I wasn't a huge fan of the ones that, that like had a green logo on them for whatever reason. The Marlins and the and the the Rays. But that Toronto one, that one sat for a long time today. I mean, like five, six minutes. You know what's weird, yeah. Jason? I think it showed as being sold out when it initially hit. Okay. And then two or three minutes later, like the quantities dropped in or something because I had people tell me it was sold out. I'm like, I'm looking at it right now. There's sizes that there's something in every yeah, size. Yeah, if you went right to the page, there was every size available. But uh, yeah, I guess I didn't. Not look initially, at though. I, people were telling me when they first went on, it was showing as sold out. Gotcha. Yeah, which is interesting. But these are these will be these will be. Um, it's interesting the timing on these because these are not something that you're gonna that I think a lot of people are gonna wear in the spring. I mean, in the uh, fall and winter. But um, this is something pre-order wise. By the time it gets here, you know, you'll be in the dead of winter, right? And then, well, yeah. maybe maybe late fall, and then um, and then this is something that'll probably sit until the spring. It'll be it, this is interesting timing. I think this was this one, in my opinion, the timing's off a little bit. Yeah, but I like like we were talking earlier. I don't think they could have dropped this one before now because um, I don't think people would have been ready for it uh, as yeah. far as like all this pink and all this pastel blue. Um, but they eased us into it. And I think timing wise of, of their releases, it works great. Timing wise on the calendar, not so great. Yeah. What do you think, Leon? Uh, I, I think it was just a matter of um, how things worked out. I think they wanted to release it earlier, just a lot of production stuff. I, I think he said they originally were supposed to come out when Green Eggs and Ham came out or something, mm -hmm. or, or Pink Lemonades or something like that. But, you know, it, it definitely reminds me, or it looks like a, an Easter hat to me. So, mm -hmm. um, spring, yeah, it's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting capsule, and, and people going crazy for it, and rightfully so. Um, this one didn't sell out as quick. It no, could be but, they're finally getting their numbers right. Yeah, yeah, I think they upped the numbers quite a bit, but who knows? Well, yeah. the black and reds must have had quite a few too, right? But they, oh, but they did that insider thing first. They did, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So by the time they hit the public site, there wasn't much left. Yeah. So it's interesting. They're still tweaking um, with the strategy. 
I think they're pretty much going to move towards like a one week on pre-order, one week off pre-order. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, a couple twins hats dropped. Uh, these were like a regular green and gray bottom, I believe. Um, mm-hmm. uh, they, they've been killing the twin stuff lately. A lot of twin stuff happening. I I skipped that one. That that twins with the uh with the uh win twins logo on the front. I had yeah. that in solid navy. I didn't like the two tone on this one. Yeah, they they had to have dropped at least. I want to say like about 10, 10 or so twin stuff in the last couple of weeks. So it's interesting to yeah. see them get popular. Um, Chimuko dropped his uh, Dead Sailor. This this one reminds me a lot of the Base Stealers um, when he redid sure. the Base Stealers in, in this kind of colorway. Um, mm-hmm. I saw an interesting comparison when you put uh, his original drop next to the Raider hat, next to this, next to the, the Bucks ship. Was that, that was your yeah. Instagram? Yeah, that was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, kind of made me regret for half a second that I didn't pick this one up, but um, the materials got me. Uh, yeah. It is a nice hat, though. Logo I, think, I think the materials is what stopped this from selling out. Like, it's just the way it looks. Because I even saw uh, Afra in his Instagram, he wrote hashtag, this is not denim. It looks like I think denim. Everyone, everyone was telling him it looks like it was denim. It looks like yeah. denim. In I this like picture. it. Yeah. Is, it, is it cotton? Is it no. a heather? No. Heather? No, I think it's I think it's uh, I, I mean I could check. I mean I could check. Mm-hmm. It looks like a good fall hat though. All right. This is the second iteration. The first one was done in uh, almost like a raider colorway. So mm-hmm. that was pretty cool. We'll give Pierre a second to grab it. But um yeah. It's uh 80% acrylic, 20% wool. Okay. So ah. it's going to be a wool hat. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, that one did sit for a while. Yeah. And we had a bunch of different um, kind of um, World Series patches. The Chicago one's really interesting. I haven't really seen them use that scene too often. I've seen my fitted use that before. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 That's interesting. It's definitely, it looks like an old logo. The inaugural um, Colorado looks kind of cool. These, these just kind of like um, different types of patches that aren't really used. That but inaugural I mean, Colorado Rockies patch is my, one of my least favorites. Really? Yeah. You don't like yeah, it? Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. Yeah. It's just different. Looks. It is different. I just don't like the patch. All right. And then 07, is that one? Who, who did they lose to? Didn't they get their ass whooped? Red Sox. Yeah, okay. Red Sox swept them that year. Yeah. That was that year they won on that crazy run, though. Like, they didn't lose after the All-Star break almost. And then... You know what, Colorado? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, until they met Boston. <laughs> they just ran into a brick wall. <laughs> I, think it's just, I mean, the Red Sox just ran through them. Yeah. Maybe they just ran out of gas because that second half after the – like, they had to win, like, almost outright just to make the playoffs and go through the wild card and then – Having to get beat up by Boston. That's a very interesting uh, year for them. And then the Philadelphia Athletics, that hat's always always clean, always clutch. Yeah, we've seen that one. Uh, these ones are a bunch of uh, different uh, pink and icies, right? These ones all went quick. Like, they're yeah. still... Um, well, wow, that Seattle one made it back on the site? Uh, so, again, some of these might have been, like, restocks or returns. Return? Yeah. Um, wow. Sometimes it's hard to filter those out. Yeah. But that Yankees one, and it's a cool patch. And um, we haven't seen that one very much yet. Yeah. That Florida one, you went, you went and tried to grab that Florida one, and that one went quick, right? Yeah. Up here. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I. I, I, I no, I didn't try for the. I didn't try for the Florida one. Didn't you try to grab it for Frank or something? Oh, for Frank, yeah. I didn't try to grab it for myself. I tried to grab it for Frank, and it no, there's no way. <laughs> that teal with the pink, really, really nice. And that that uh, that ten year anniversary patch. Um, you don't see it that often. Um, but yeah, it's a cool hat. Uh, Dionic dropped his second version of this yeah. beer mug thing. Um, people go crazy for this one. This one, 
Um, I remember the first time, there's so many people that missed out on the first one. Hopefully, uh, people got lucky on the second one. But Was the first one a green under, though? I want to say the first one was like a brown. And no, this one's a brown was under. Was it two-tone or something? I don't yeah, remember I don't... the under. I don't remember the under, but it was like a two-tone. I don't remember the first one. I know it was yellow. The crown was yellow. But I don't remember what was different about the first one. Uh, the brim was black or brown or something okay. like that. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Right. Still a miracle that they can just do beer straight on a straight on a cap to me, but it could yeah. be root beer. It it is root beer, or it could be like uh you know like soap, like soapy water. Yeah, maybe they're doing the dishes. Doing the dishes maybe they're doing the dishes outside by the river, by yeah. the creek. Maybe they're doing dishes by the creek. Yep. I uh yeah I went in on this one. I was lucky yeah. enough to be able to grab it. So it's a good uh, Oktoberfest hat. Yeah, I don't like uh, I don't like that under though the brown. I, I don't have one, so we'll see what it's like when it gets here. I have so, the first one. I just don't remember what it, what it, exactly what what it looks like. Did it come with coasters? Or yeah, the first it? this one cost fifty bucks too, or fifty five yeah, or something. Fifty. Fifty came with coasters. I, I I did get the coasters with the first one too. What's your What's your review of the coasters? Are they, are they high quality? No, nah, they're they're like cardboard coasters. Yeah, they're beer coasters. They're like things you would see at a bar. Okay, okay. So they're not like reusable, like. Um. Well, no. Yeah, you can reuse them, but they will they will rip if they get super wet. They'll be all warped and stuff. It's not the kind of coaster you're going to keep around the house and then use it. You okay. Know. Interesting. That's cool. It's a cool touch. I've never seen. Let me ask you a question, Leah. Do you use coasters in the home? Uh. No. You got like a frothy beverage. Do you like put a coaster down before you put it on the? coffee table or end table like we no yeah no. you just let that rock you just let it rock on the table straight up how about you jason oh man i go bare oh really you yeah. guys are living fucking dangerously man I, got, I, I, I don't drink beer though i've got coasters see yeah no I'm, so is, my kids are old so we've had kids for a while so all of our furniture is shot at this point we're just <laughs> waiting for them to move out so we can get new nice furniture so Right yeah. now, yeah, we just we don't we don't use coasters. Then you're gonna get yourself some coasters, right, Jason? Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Maybe some doilies. Who knows? Go All right. Um, Donic grabbed uh this new version of his his D. It's almost a neon colorway. Uh, interesting. He went with like that hex kind of material, mm -hmm. bright red under. Um, this is like a party on a hat. Yeah. You know what this reminds me of, like. Close. Jason, this is right up your alley. Did you see Thor Ragnarok? I did. Of course I did. What's the name of that guy who has the um, orgy spaceship? I don't know, but he's my hero. Um, you know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah, but I don't remember names. I don't know. Oh, okay. It's just one of those things. I, I, names are so bad for me. I, this reminds me of what he would he would wear. Yeah. Um, yeah have you seen he, the movie Thor Ragnarok? Um, not not in its entirety. It would. Huh. It was well. It's a, it's it was, a good it was, movie. It's honestly a good movie. Yeah, it's way different than the rest of the, the Marvel universe movie. Yeah, though, so. but like it was trying to be too funny in, in the beginning, and I just turned it off. It, was like, I, it actually was very successful at being funny. Really? Okay. Yeah, if you watch it all the way through, you'd like it. Okay. Yeah. I feel like this would be a good hat for some of uh, Davy's stories. Like Davy's always playing that crazy like dubstep brave music <laughs> like you know this would be like a perfect hat for one of her stories i always keep my instagram stories muted okay okay it's really oh. disconcerting when you're going through those stories all of a sudden like you know just blast music yeah yeah it's fucking music blasting out of it i, I just want to see the, the visuals and move on with my life i'll, I'll tag you in the next uh uh seizure inducing uh story no, no, please don't so, please don't so, 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 <laughs> john says that uh John from Mink Park says that guy's name is the Grandmaster. That's right. right. The Grandmaster. That's right. Yeah. That, that, that is a good name. Yeah. Um, like they dropped that. a couple MILB hats. Um, I believe this was one on Monday. Was this a Monday League Monday? Yeah. This is, my, this is Monday, yeah. 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 Um, do you guys know anything about these? Yeah. The, the Havana Sugar Kings. Okay. And the Miami Beach. Uh, Flamingos. Jace, Flamingos? I, yeah. Is that what that thing is, Leon? Yeah. I don't. I can't believe you. You didn't step in there, being our resident animal expert. 
Well, that's obviously a flamingo, but I don't well, know. I gave a pause. I gave a pause to allow the resident animal expert to share which animal that was. So well, Miami I'm bring flamingos. And I'm referring to our minor you know, league expert, uh, Jason Mead. Jason Mead's probably going to tell us uh, the lineage of the hat and where the team ended up after. So, Well, one thing I'm super shocked by, Leon, is that you don't remember – or, or know much about the Miami Beach Flamingos, considering your favorite player of all time was a member of the Miami Beach Flamingos. My favorite player of all time? The one you mentioned all the time. Who I mentioned? He mentioned Nick, Nick Lowry, all, uh, Kyle Lowry all the time. Yeah, well, that's a love affair. But Minnie Mendoza was a member of the Miami Beach Flamingos. Minnie Men Minoso? Minnie Minoso? Oh, you said Minoso. Oh, well, Minnie Mendoza was, was a member. So Who the hell is Minnie Mendoza? I don't know. <laughs> Did you just, like, Who's Google Minnie that? Mendoza? Yeah, why not? Minnie Minoso is like a Hall of Famer. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the White Sox, right? Okay. Yeah. We need TJ to fact check us on some of this stuff. That Havana well, Sugar Kings cap is cool, though. So Ink yeah. Park's asking why are flamingos uh, pink? It's because of the, the shrimp what? they eat. Yeah. Thank you. And Absolutely. No, well more directly related to what the shrimp eat. Well, that's a different chapter, though, Pierre. Leon's yeah, that's where it comes from, Leon. I'm trying to teach a resident animal expert something. It's more about what the, what the shrimp eat. And then the flamingo eats that. Interesting. I always just assumed it was because of the shrimp, shrimp brains, but whatever. <laughs> I don't even know if it's shrimp. I don't think it's because they eat shrimp. I think there's something that they eat in the water. Yeah. No, they that eat. pigments their 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 um don't their they feathers. Eat don't they the eat shrimp? Flamingos eat shrimp. Yeah. Or krill or whatever it's called. Krill. They're not shrimp. Yeah, they're shrimp are in krill shrimp are in like sea or in salt water. Whatever. We'll get the answer to this. I know everyone's probably wondering why the fuck we're talking about this. Well, I'm sure there's some water in in Florida, that's called brackish. That's where the fresh meets the salt. So that's probably where they go. Ooh, oh, wow. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Anyway, uh, speaking of cleaning up, the New York sanitation hats um, have arrived. Um, I don't know why, but I bought one of these. Yeah, I don't I'm know why you bought around. one either. I, I really don't know why you bought one either. <laughs> I have no clue. Walk around pretending to be a janitor um, in New York, but you know, it's, it's a cool it's... side patch. Listen, garbage men um, make I good money. Not... Garbage men make good money. I'm not yeah, I'm not making fun of them. They make good money, um, man. It's a good living. No, I yeah, I love garbage men, but I, I just don't get why to put their seal on a hat. Yeah, they. Uh, I think they actually get money from this. It's because oh, well, have... good. So who knows? do they? They also oh, have yeah. like. Do... It's probably. A I mean, it's kind of cool. It's a cool looking logo, right? It's different, but I mean, like, we're getting to the end of the line here with the side patches, I guess. Yeah, maybe from far away you might think it's a nurse or something, some type of frontline worker. But um, I did avoid the green and I went for the navy at least. Well, garbage uh, man and sanitation departments are the first thing you notice when they go away. Like you don't notice them when they're working right, but when they're not working right, you'll suddenly notice oh, really mm -hmm. quick. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, Thrills SFS, sorry, Thrills SF, um, back with another one. Um, they had a different version of this hat come last week, I think. Maybe that was a restock. This is the new color, I believe. Yeah, so last week was their, a re-release of their original, and then this is a, a new two-tone colorway, again with the walnut under. So that's two walnut unders from Hat Club in one week. But um, yeah, I'm good with Studio. the walnut. No, I don't like these walnut unders. I, you know, I do like. I actually do like the front logo. I do because that's yeah. like it, it's it's kind of, it's cool. But two releases now, this guy's put a different colored squatchy on the top that just doesn't make sense to me. The jazz, right? The jazz too. I mean, I get it. There was a reason, for, but it's so disconcerting when you look at it. Like, I don't want to have to explain to someone why that squatchy is that color, nor do I. Nor do I understand why this squatchy is yellow. Do yeah. a lot of people ask you why your squatchies are certain colors? Because I don't think I that's think someone question. might. I think someone's definitely going to wonder why the fuck this has a yellow squatchy. Well, we may as well get uh get pancake on the on on the line and. Yeah, you can switch it out for her. I haven't switched it. that thing out in a second. I don't understand why that yellow thing's up there. Was it like a what is it like a homing beacon? Like what the hell is it for? This one, this one reminds me of like uh, almost like the um, 
Phoenix Coyotes almost. So that's that's an interesting. Well, what I like about it is I do like it. Looks like it's like trees. Yeah, it's like a yeah. It's really cool. I I, I love the way it looks, but I don't understand why that yellow squatchy is up there. Again, I I I, I don't like it. TJ's uh TJ's asking why is that called walnut? It is called walnut. I don't know why it because it's that's, that that color is walnut. That's yeah. the the exactly. walnut the walnut shell is that color. Well, even when you have wood that's stained walnut, the color yep. that's the color walnut. Maybe that's the color of the tree, the walnut tree. Maybe. No, the walnut tree oh. is the it might worst be that tree. color, but that's not what that's that the walnut thing. tree is the worst tree in the history of the universe. <laughs> Why yes, wow. the beef against the walnut tree? Uh, because on growing up, we had a walnut tree grove behind my house. Okay. And and those things would drop walnuts constantly. And if you've ever seen a raw walnut, it's covered in a husk that smells absolutely terrible. And okay. so my dad would make me go out there and pick up the walnuts, husk and all, because he didn't want to ruin the lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> so my hands, even with gloves on, would smell like these walnut husks absolutely all, all day long for this you, know you know what i love most about this story is i yeah. now realize not only do we have a resident animal expert we now have a botanist on the panel arborist you take us through through um plants well, I, and yeah <laughs> i like it I, I love it man i love how we're diversifying the show there you go showing really showing um the uh the diversity in, in our panel yeah <laughs> okay leon we can move on to the next one yeah. Well, there, there's there's a there's a fun fact. Someone actually Googled the flamingo stuff. So if you guys want to read that, we can read that later. Well, Leon, um, I, I, I'm I, what better time than now? <laughs> All right. Well, flamingos are pink or orange or white, depending on what they eat. Flamingos eat algae and crustaceans that contain pigments called. Now, this word is fucked up. Carotenoids. So whatever that's hey for you at home that's the canadian pronunciation of that yeah, word there you go. um hmm. just fitted back at it again so um we had the the buck the bucks boats um we had a california republic hat um we had a weird kind of half mesh snowbird oktoberfest hat that was interesting that one came in navy and in black and then a really weird looking uh phillies hat that <laughs> phillies hat when i saw it, i was like what it <laughs> that that <laughs> that thing is fucked up are we gonna need to change your uh your weeper of the <laughs> i mean i i didn't you know i wish i had seen this before because this definitely is my honorable mention for um what what is that what, you the guys weeper. call it um you guys call it weepers i call it most fucked up hat of the week this one would have been the runner-up and we're trying to be politically correct yeah well you I guys can name have, fun, have fun with that I think this is one of the most fucked up hats of the week. We would have to ask our our panel of uh, Philly friends. So we have to ask. Yeah, listen, them. I can speak Stop for them right now. This <laughs> hat bad. looks fucking stupid. Uh, fair enough. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna disagree. I actually like kind of what? Yeah. <laughs> you like that hat, Mead? <laughs> I mean, I would wear it's like, that. It's like a hat with a pair of sweat shorts on it. It's like, it's, I, it looks yeah. ridiculous. Why the heather, though? What's so? If that would have been just gray and not a heather, it would have been much better. But it still would have been shitty. It's like they retired a woman's power suit. You know the ones with the super high um, shoulder. shoulder yeah. pads? Oh, hang on, it's like someone's wearing a dre dress shirt, right? A dress shirt, and then they put a pair of like fucking um, like uh, sweat sh sweat shorts on. What are you wearing right now? What? <laughs> Come on, no, Jason. I, you don't really I, like I that. Thing. You were just, that. Jason. Be honest. You were just looking to disagree just because you wanted to, like, you know, kind of get no, your engine. No, ready. I mean, yeah, I do like to disagree with you, but I do, I don't mind that hat. Right. I don't hate okay, it. As well, you much just better. went from saying you you disagreed and you like the hat to now you don't mind it. I do like it. I don't. <sighs> I don't hate it as much as you guys do. Yes, I don't know we're why. Gonna, we're going to need to take a screenshot of that hat and put it on the views. Um, IG story and get a vote going on. Oh, yeah. that's a Leon. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. And you know, maybe it's just the front panel that 
I'm really well. I know you're always enamored by a white front panel, so maybe yeah. that's what did it to you. Maybe that's what's drawing me to it. Is that even the proper Philly maroon? Like, I don't know. That you, know, you can't really trust pictures. Even a, even a yellow squatchy wouldn't have saved this. Here's squatchy. one thing. No, <laughs> even a homing beacon squatchy <laughs> couldn't save this thing. But uh, uh, ECAP City dropped a couple Ooh. hats. Uh, looks like a red bottom. Uh, New York with the heart. The teal with the heart, and then um, angels thinking. Um, anything stand out for you guys here? Kind of run of the mill. Something, not necessarily something that stands out, but can I ask you guys a question? Because I, I really do want an answer to this. I would never buy a hat with that heart on it. Right. No. No. But I want to. I want to ask you guys a serious question. Okay. The more that we're immersed in the sports stuff, mm -hmm. the more I want to know if you guys are feeling the same way I I do. The more I'm leaning towards like clink room design collective stuff like I, I don't know man I, it's like um it's not that it's running its course i'm always gonna love sports caps you guys know me i that's my that's my bread and butter but it makes me like this slide makes me want to go look at the clink room website yeah i think um yeah go ahead jay go ahead i'm getting really really burnt out of the major league side patch I mean, it's really all we see anymore. Yeah. Um, it's, well, you hated side patches for a while, though. It's not just the side patches. It's look. There's two in the last month. We've had almost a thousand hats drop. Probably yeah. 800 of them are Major League Baseball side patch hats. It's they're all starting to look the same. They are. And Jason, can I ask you a question though? The yeah. Angels hat there that's on that slide. Mm -hmm. um, Let's say I slap a white white panel on that and a pair of, a pair of sweat pant brims. <laughs> um, would you then be enamored by that hat? Uh, no. You had me at front panel, but then you lost me at the sweat pant brim. Okay. So, well, and, now and you've coined a new phrase, right? The sweat alone. pant brim. The sweat it's pant the, brim. Side patch alone. Yeah. The side patch though is really like, blech, you know. It's kind of it's kind of washed out. Yeah. Yeah. See, what I like about what Hat Club, when Hat Club does it, they do certain parts of it pink to make it kind of tie into the undervisor. This one is just like... All pink, yeah. All pink. Or all white. I don't... Yeah, it's oh, definitely yeah. washed out. They should have kept the gold in there. Either way, it's ugly. Yeah. I think, like, for me, like, when you change the side patch, you should change the front. You shouldn't have the front the same. I don't yeah. know. Whatever. But... I feel like, yeah, like you're, you're right, Pierre. They're all trying to be different, but they end up all looking the same. Yeah. All kind of fucked up. Um, corporate got them, dropped uh, Joe Fresh Goods. Um, Pierre, you grabbed this one, right? I did. Did you get it from, straight from Joe Fresh Goods or did you get it from corporate? From corporate. Um, okay. I wanted one of this collection. Um, and since I, I didn't want to go Cleveland, because Cleveland to me, that block seated the. You know, I, I like Cincinnati hats, man. I, I just like them. I don't know why. Cincinnati yeah. hats are – I like them. How was the, how's the shipping and all that stuff with, with corporate? Super fast, dude. It was here It was here two days. Because the, the retail on these things are, are borderline. Um, Ridiculous. Yeah, they're about 80 bucks. So yeah. I wanted one from this collection, um, so I went with Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. I went for the, the White Sox one and then – they they canceled it because they didn't allow more than one hat to be on the order. <laughs> and by the time I tried to switch it, Cubs were gone and it was it was a whole mess. So I'm a little bit mad at him. So whatever. If I don't get one, I don't get one. But um, Joe Fresh Goods always keeping keeping the the caps look good. But at the same time, it, it's it's very expensive, very expensive. So keep doing things, Joe. Threading threading free. Yeah. Um, well, they, listen, there there I. From what I understand, some of that money goes to um, specific causes with him specifically, right? Okay. I don't think it's all. I think he does. I, I'm not sure. Maybe someone out there can kind of share with us. I, I didn't do the homework on that before we jumped on here, but I I know, I, I know TJ is a big uh, Joe Fresh Goods fan, so maybe he can pipe in and let us know. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know he's done specific T-shirts for like different like. Uh, um, food First of all, I can't justify eighty bucks. Eighty bucks is a lot of money, man, for yeah. that hat. Yeah, it's a lot. We bought five today for one hundred twenty, but 
Um, anyway, mm-hmm. Locker and Downey, they dropped a bunch of hats. So um, the Chargers, the Raiders, and then that kind of purple bottom. Uh, Laker hat, that one's kind of cool. They dropped a ton of Rams stuff. So looks yeah. like the Rams are fully stocked for the season. Um, call me weird, well, but I like so that. Is clear, so is our clearance section. <laughs> I, I like the regular the LA one. I don't know why. The what? That big, thick. Like kind yeah, of but then when you look at the front view of it, the L and the A are off. Yeah. Like I don't know why they needed the dots either. The dots yeah. kind of throw it off for me, but I don't know how well these are going to do. I think a Rams merchandise truck crashed out front of the locker room. Like <laughs> door. This yeah. is what happened. Do they even like the Rams in LA? I don't think they do, right? Or well, they it's they hate the Chargers for sure. They hate the Chargers. But I don't. LA isn't is correct me if I'm wrong. LA isn't a huge NFL city, right? I think they, I think they are when they don't have a team. <laughs> so like they tried to be when they don't have a team, but then when they have a team, they don't. Really and they got it. two teams. Like it's weird. Year. It's like a turnstile, though. It's like a turnstile, right? Because there's certain, like you know, the New York Giants, New York Jets. Well, really, those are both. Honestly, they're New Jersey. They're not. They're in East Rutherford, New Jersey. They're not even in New York. But their mainstays there. There's certain environments that support these NFL teams. But LA doesn't seem to be one of those cities. Mm-hmm. I don't know enough about the subject, honestly. But yeah. It feels like it's a turnstile. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's it's all about who they grew up watching and stuff like that. So a lot of the San Diego people turn turn their back on the Chargers when they moved to L.A. No one in L.A. cares about the Chargers. Um, we had a question come in. Uh, have you heard anything about the urban necessities drop? Yeah, that was delayed. Okay, no problem. And uh, TJ said... Uh, Joe Fresh Goods picks a charity for each city with the, within the drop. So right. that makes me feel a little bit better. But yeah. the other one, his first release, I don't remember anything about charity. But No, I, I, I think that's always been his MO. Okay, cool. Good for him. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how they got their hands on this NHL stuff. So they dropped two NHL hats. Those are kind of cool. Um, the Quakes um, with the LA, that's kind of interesting. We saw, I think... Was it Trenton? Trenton Thunder did something similar with the parent club, with the minor league club. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. A uh, bunch of USC stuff dropped. Um, anything stick out to you here? Any of you guys Trojan fans? No. 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 I do like that big block letter USC. That looks cool. I, I do. I kind of like that too. It's just, to me, it looks like the letters aren't like straight across the top and the bottom. They look a little off, like the S is a little lower than the U and the C. Yeah, I see that. But I think that's the angle because the hat is it curves, yeah, inward, it curves inward on those other panels, so it, it appears that way. But yeah, you know. that could be the case. Yeah, and then uh, it looks really bad on that uh, the the black and gray one up in the corner. Yeah, yeah. That that Trojan logo is pretty cool. You never really see them use. That logo, it's always just letters and stuff. So yeah, you throw that on the front of the hat. Yeah. Without without the without the SC. Yeah, yeah. like if that, that'd be kind of cool. Are you guys uh fans of the the state shaped hats? <laughs> I think that's so weird. No, I, I don't like those. I don't like I don't like the, the the metal on the front like of the hat. No. Yeah, that's where it's like a cookie. No, I, I, it looks it looks silly. Like what what's the point of that? No. Looks like it'll get like caught up in uh, TSA in the airport, maybe. I don't know, but it's a weird move. Um, I don't know how securely that thing is like fastened on either, right? Like that thing. Falls I'll never. Off. I'm not. I'm not about to find out. You know why? You'll never buy one. I'm not buying one of those. It looks yeah. stupid. Yeah, it's a weird move. I I do know that there's people within the community that collect the state ones. So you know, good oh, luck. No. Good luck state getting outline. One. State outline ones are cool. Um, but not the metal. I don't like the metal and thread hats. Do you, do you have a lot of state outlines in your in your collection, Jerry? Uh, I have a few, but they're mostly all minor league teams. Okay, Leon, do you have any province outlines in your in your collection? No, I've had the chance to get like an Ontario one for uh, for Toronto, and I've passed. It's not a good looking 
But besides yeah. Ontario, aren't all the provinces pretty much the same shape anyway? They're all rectangles. No. <laughs> not really, but all right. Nova Scotia is <laughs> not a rectangle. Well, the ones in the middle, definitely. Yeah. Um, kind of look similar. They dropped a bunch of LA ones. Um, some of these look a little familiar. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it at that. Is that is that is that um green one with the gold? Does that have a pink under? Yeah, I believe so. That's a straight jack. Yeah, there's a couple of them that got straight jacked. So is that one that um the maroon one too? Yeah, that one that's got a gray under or a green. They did both. Yeah. But to be fair, they are a Dodgers store, so they're gonna sell Dodgers hats. Yeah. I mean, it's not like they're going out and, and, and copying all of the hats of that colorway or anything like that. They're just sticking to the Dodgers. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the Crenshaw one we've definitely seen before. There was a bunch of them of that same drop. I just didn't include them all. Right. Um, the Pirates one created a little bit of controversy. Uh, we'll just leave it at that. The weird one was they did a couple hats with the Elliot at the front and the Elliot at the back. Yeah, um, for the, the back, I don't like that at all. The no. back hat wearing people. Jay, how no. would you feel? Uh, I would. I absolutely hate those. Give me, <laughs> give me the the batter man or something. If I want the logo on the front, I'll wear the hat the right way. Yeah, I, I don't want it on the on the back. I think it's meant for like you know, if you're walking down the street, someone didn't catch what was on the front of your hat. They just look back. <laughs> oh, look! Like it's like a like a like a license plate. I guess. Like, oh, wow, wow. yeah, I, I thought that was an L.A. hat. Oh, now, yeah, so that's confirmed. It's on the back, too. Yeah, and then they had um, the audacity to take the six-time champion, in our view, probably one of the worst side patches of all time, and make <laughs> it a seven-time champion. Um, I don't know what the hell to think about that hat. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I know what to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> They've what made that think about up here. Think bottom what, do, what do I think about that? <laughs> yeah, I think it's I think it's a, it's a waste of fucking time. Like it's a waste of effort. Like what what is the point of that hat? What is the point of that hat? I I gotta be honest with you. I hate any hat that has seven times, six times, five times, twenty times world champion, twenty seven. Who cares? Because it, it's almost like I never want to wear a, a hat, right? That I know will be obsolete someday. Yeah. I just yeah. I just don't like that thought. I don't like the feeling of it. Like, I don't want to wear it and thinking – it's almost like wishing your team doesn't win again. Yeah. But the Dodgers have only won six, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is an – oh, this is a, a little knock at the, at the Astros, right? Like, we should have won that year, you know. It's an Astro cap, basically. Wham, wham, wham. Yeah, it's interesting. It's terrible. I don't know, yeah. Like the the second you print it, it could be obsolete. Who knows? But you know, maybe they're not planning to win again. So uh, the script hat. You know what I mean, though, right? You know what I mean. Like wearing it is almost con- is almost like suggesting or hoping. Yeah, well, it's like the Yankees always talking about twenty seven. They've been stuck on twenty seven for a hot minute too, right? So since two thousand nine. Yeah. 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 Um, they had a couple other ones. Uh, the nineteen eighty one. Um, we haven't seen used a lot, but now it's come, making a comeback. Uh, yep. The old English. That's a that, those are soccer hats. Those are soccer hats. Yeah, no, these these are actually Dodgers hats. Uh, I don't I think so. they had the better man on the back. I don't think so. Oh, okay. I could be wrong, but I thought I thought those were the so- those were a soccer team. They've done soccer ones. They're like football. They're football club. Yeah. They've done they've done those before, but I thought these were no. Nope. Uh, I don't even remember. No, these have that giant LA on the back. Yeah, these are Dodgers hats. They have the LA like the LA Dodgers on the back? Like the LA logo, the Dodgers logo on the back of the hat. They do the same exact thing for their soccer teams. That's yeah. interesting. Just put the batter man on the back. Jesus. I like old English, but this one, just the way it's kind of like spaced out because it's a longer word they had to make it more short i don't know it's this one's kind of a miss to me um la champion side that one's kind of weird too it's uh, that's that one's too much 
Yeah, that well, one. You've always wanted a patch on the front. There you have it, bud. Yeah, but then leave the patch off the side. <laughs> I mean, and you put a white panel on there and some uh, some sweat short uh, brim on there, and we're we're yeah. we're fucking rocking and rolling. No, this but I, I'm with you. I, it's a little too. What's your, too, it's, what's your Red Sox one? Your Red Sox T-shirt hat. A Red Sox that's, T-shirt. That's what because that's what this is. This is the T-shirt. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it does look like that. Yeah. It's missing a yellow squatchy though. Um, that's called the homing be- homing beacon. The homing beacon. All right. We're gonna change that. Any anytime there's an off, like there's one right now. Speak of the devil. Yeah. <laughs> Speak can of the describe, devil. You can describe in yellow. Um, for you. Cap- oh, oh, my my favorite. <laughs> uh, they got a strawberry milkshake going on. Um, on the bottom there. Um. And it looks like the the missing Battermans have found their way onto the red <laughs> New York Yankee hats. So all yeah, the, the miss- Battermans that that Jason's looking for right there on the front yeah. of the hat. <laughs> all the missing Battermans have, have found their ways on, on these hats. Um, well, at least they put them somewhere, but it's the wrong spot. They put them somewhere though. But do you guys honestly like any of these? I, I, the Tampa Bay one, I don't the mind. Joker, yeah, the Tampa yeah, Joker. Like, that one looks good. The color of that one. Uh, I hate that Angels logo. It's my my fit is just did a better version of that Joker, yeah. Tampa Bay. Yeah. Um, I'm. I kind of want one of these strawberry milkshake hats, but I don't know because I bought my mom one and I want to match her. So just for that reason, but it's a terrible looking hat. Now that you kind of look, I don't at know it. what a pink hat like that's going to look like in a size eight. We'll, we'll find out soon enough. We're about to find out. It's going to be like an extra large, an extra large, like a supersized milkshake. Yeah. I think Hat Club is going to come up with something uh, like this, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, exclusive fitted. Uh, we were just talking about them. Um, they dropped a bunch of hats. Ooh. The 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 Welcome to Queens. Um, that one's not totally new, but that's a that's a cool kind of uh kind of hat. I don't you know. You notice that their pictures always make the hats look sloppy. These yeah, pic- they they do not take great pictures there. Um, These they make them look sloppy and weak. Oh, wait, wait till we get to the um, the next couple slides. <laughs> uh, save that, save that take for uh, the next couple slides. But uh, uh, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with this uh, the 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 red palm tree one. That one's kind of. That one's a lot. What is that an orange under on that Diamondbacks? Yes. Why? Because it kind of there's some orange in the side patch. All right, this is getting to be ridiculous. Now, what's the, the Yankees one? That's a yellow under on. Yeah. Is that charcoal or is that like navy? No, I it? think that's just a terrible picture. I think it's navy. Yeah, I don't know. But it's it's gonna get better before it gets worse. So oh no wait. No, that was in sports world. Sorry. That was in sports world. So uh sneaker room dropped a, a couple hats. So we got like pylon orange, um, along with like a like a powder blue. Um you hate the Yankees, so I don't even really need to ask you about it. But um how do you feel about like just just these companies? They're just they're they're really going for it with the colors. So I just think, listen, I love, I like these. I don't mind bright colors and stuff. I really don't mind them. I'm just like, the timing is like, I think, I hope this is all because of COVID, you know, because the releases on these are ridiculous. They're ridiculously timed. Like no one's going to wear this thing in October. Yeah. See, I, you guys, again, are tie your hats to the seasons a lot more than I do, right? I don't really care what color the hat is. But you're not a fashion cap guy, though. No, I work colors, so I, I don't know. Right, but like, a, but like, let me let me give you an example, right? Mm-hmm. Like, if I if if the Celtics are that green color, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not only going to wear it in the fall because it's a Celtics hat, but like a fashion cap, like if it's like light, like baby blue, like this. There's no there's no way I'm wearing that in in November. Yeah. Well, I have baby blue sweaters that I need a hat to match with. <laughs> So yeah, I'll wear it. No, I'll guess. wear it in November. You, you know, it. people have that rule like don't wear white after Labor Day. I don't wear diamond there after Labor Day. It's almost like don't feed a gremlin after midnight. It's always after midnight. <laughs> so my rule is never wear white. 
Yeah, I'm not sure. People are uh, chiming in. I think these hats are $65. If that's the case, that's... Uh... Why? No, no, no. So their feed's a little behind us. They're talking about exclusive fitted. All oh, exclusive fitted was 65 Yeah, for sure. Though That's true. Yep. Well, Islanders just won, so congrats, John. I think they're charging 65 so they can invest in a new camera. Maybe. 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 Hopefully. So, uh, sports world, they went nuts. This is a plethora of crazy shit going on here. Yeah, yeah. This was, I couldn't even sort it out. So I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. I'm just going to see what we can put on. Well, I, w- I wish I could see what magical unders were on these, but I'm assuming they're all gray. A lot of them are gray. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't hate all these, man. No, the, this is the good stuff. Yeah. I mean, I don't like that white <laughs> crowned Wahoo. Yeah. That one, that one was probably the most popular post on my feed this week. The white crown it's just you don't see it often maybe yeah but uh it, people have been having trouble getting wahoos getting their hands on wahoos but look at that patch leon yeah looks it's low. all like i don't know if it's just the picture but that's that thing looks all like it's like the colors were distorted to match the hat and it looks like shit yeah i don't know the the padres that's like the hat that like google Lou has like 50 of those i hats. love that hat yeah that hat's a nice hat um but yeah, it's gonna get fun here. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't even know if this is a. Th- these aren't even new shoes, so they're just they're just going back because that's Obsidian Twelve. I don't know if that released anytime recently, and and the Sport Blue, like the the threes there. I, I don't think I don't know. I've been kind of out of touch with sneakers, but these are old sneakers. So if they're pulling old sneakers out to hook them. I think maybe these might have been restocks from previous ones, but yeah. Leon, we're gonna start doing more polls, and, and Jason too. We got we got to start doing more polls on the views from the vault around some of these things like sneaker hooks. Like, should we even show them on the show, or should we not? I mean, this is like a joke. I mean, look at this thing. It's almost like. I mean, look at this. I want you just to look at just take this slide in for a second, right? Mm-hmm. Take it in. Who the fuck is buying this? <laughs> TJ said the new shoes. Okay, well, I stand corrected. I thought, I don't know. I thought I've seen these shoes before, but. But, you know, I it's like they're all trying too hard and it doesn't come up. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's every one of these hats is trying too hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you no, can get away with, print, with, that, with that pair of Jordan 3s. I'm not sure what, what they were called, but the, that pair of Jordan 3s, you can get away with wearing a Duke Blue Devils hat. How about a Brooklyn? How about a, just a clean Brooklyn Dodgers cap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. any royal hat, <laughs> yeah. right? But and then yeah. the the 12s, they look like the Obsidians, but the 12s you can get away with wearing like a Georgetown, a Yankees right? hat. How about yeah. any Navy hat? Yeah, with a white front logo. Yeah. Why do we have to go to the extreme of doing this to a hat? There's people out there that like the matchy matchy though. Yeah, but they're but they're but they're like fifty, <laughs> and they're still wearing like Fila jumpsuits. Are they still dressed like this nineties though? But uh, how, how you feeling? I, I sprinkled in the two Arizona ones to lower your blood pressure a little bit. But how do you feel? My about blood pressure is just fine. I mean, I, I I know exactly what I'm looking at here. I'm looking at I'm, I mean, the one on the right looks good. The the other one, no, it looks the colors look like they all bleed into each other. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. They, uh, I know so, what happened there. They use the same color inside the A that's on the crown of the hat, so it looks like it looks stupid. Uh, TJ's asking about a previous slide. So the the yellow crown pirates. People are saying, or TJ saying that's a pink bottom. If that's that makes a, it that makes it more terrible. Yeah, <laughs> this is a bad move. <laughs> and the other one in the lower left hand corner, Leon. The other one in the lower left hand corner, right? Uh-huh. Like the patch doesn't look right. Everything's too yellow. Yeah, it's like uh, maybe maybe Justin needs a like a host a master class. But whatever, keep doing it. And then they they get it just get, the stuff just fell right off the rails. So trying to decipher this stuff. So um, the Yankees with uh, I think oh that's a ninety six patch. Is that the year they played the Braves? Because that looks like a Braves colorway Yankees hat. Yeah, they yeah. So they're they're kind of going off there. They got the pinstripes. Um, I don't know what to, to think of the navy with the that kind of uh, 
work work i think you i think you know what to think of it leon how about you just say what you're feeling okay share your feelings with everybody like what do you think about that that navy hat with the yellow crown that has nothing to do with the fucking yankees or any colorway i've ever experienced with the new york yankees explain to me what you feel i want to hear what you feel about that hat i feel like they're just trying to um market to people who wear timberlands all day long maybe still dress with like uh pelly pelly jeans i don't know i don't know what to think it's it, it's a terrible looking hat let's um, look at can we look at this other hat over here the one the new york mets yankees mashup with that orange blob on the side no, and a pink under don't and that. a pink under yeah. So explain like, to me, if someone can tell me what that thing is, it's like and, and lead me to, lead me to a place where I understand why someone would produce that hat. Okay. So what that is is New York Knicks. No, that is the Yankees color Yankees hat with Mets colorway logos and a pink bottle. This is what happens when people will buy anything. So it, it what's what's happening here is people are buying anything and they're getting rewarded for this shoddy work. Not to mention that one was $55. If you paid me $40 <laughs> and said, Pierre, please post this on your Instagram, I would be like, fuck you. Oh, I posted it on mine. <laughs> Your Instagram is different than mine. Yours is informational, right? It's to it's to provide a service. Mine. Well, I didn't. Hey, I didn't want to, but I did. That literally looks like it's the Yankees, the Mets, and then like a New York Knicks. I can't even see what it is from here. New York Giants, maybe. No, it's the Mets Yankees. Is that the Subway Series patch? Yeah. yeah. All orange yeah. down. Wow, <laughs> that's a rough one. And this is one of the roughest um, weeks I've seen. I mean, this one was so bad, I didn't even put it down as my uh, weeper of the week. It didn't even deserve that recognition. No, it's laughable to yeah. provide it any more airtime. Yeah. Well, we got to see, you know, like if, if, if anyone sees these hats being posted by the people, make sure you tag tag us because <laughs> um, <laughs> we need to let them know they yeah. did make a wrong choice no Th these people whoever's buying these doesn't know how to work instagram well that's true well, who knows uh, sports world watches our show so maybe uh they will take Leon, are you pausing for a reason here like is there a, you're just like trying to like you know i'm just on? i'm just taking it all in there's not we've never had so many bad hats on one one page i don't think <laughs> i mean the, the that red one in the corner bottom red that's that's a that's not right hat it doesn't Listen, even they might be mad at me for this right leon like because i i really don't want to i i really don't want to alienate someone's a relationship with someone at this point but these hats like if you're listening sports world 160 get rid of this is garbage man these hats right here are terrible this is a bad representation yeah and who knows? Yankees, yeah, Yankees one on the bottom right. It's not bad. No, that's no, that's okay. That was that icy blue bottom. Yep. Yeah, that's all right. I can deal with that one. That's the one on this slide that that doesn't make me want to throw up. How do you feel about the Yankees with the Atlanta colorways? It's not right. It's is it it's weird? Too? Not right. You know what? It's weird. Like when I saw the LA one with the with the Pirates colors, it looked right. This one looks wrong. I'm yeah, I don't know. I what can't even put my finger on it. Maybe it's the two tone. Maybe it's because you're used to seeing a Yankee hat with the with the navy, right? I'm uh, also not used to seeing an LA hat. Well, no, you know they do a lot of flips with LA, right? So LA, yeah. you get you can get the LA hat in all these different colors, but you don't necessarily. Oh no, you remember when Hat Club had the two tone LA hat, and I said that 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 that's one of the hats that I'm I'm almost ashamed that Hat Club put out, and it's very rare that Hat Club puts out a hat like that. Do you remember that? Which one? There was a two-tone LA hat. With, I think it had an '88 World Series patch on it. What two? What two colors was it? Um, I believe it was this. Oh. I think I think so. I, I vaguely remember. It was navy. Oh yes, red. I do remember that one. Yes. You're like, why did they put it out? Yeah. So it's it's got to be something to me. The, the when you do like 
your team in a different color, it's got to be one. It's, the whole hat has to be that color. It can't have a different different color brim. Yeah, I just think that you're just used to seeing the navy, like because that's still the Yankee Navy. They use pretty much the same navy. No, Leon, what's the bothering brim. me about it is that if it was a flip and they did the Yankees hat in pirates colors, I think that would look cool. Yeah. Yeah, there's no even not even any teams that wear that navy and yellow. I don't. Navy. Oh, the navy and yellow. No, but the navy and red is the Atlanta Braves. Right. Right. The navy and yellow. That's like the. Uh, let's just move on. These are. I think get maybe better. maybe that maybe it's a Georgia Tech tie-in. These are not. These are not like wine. These are not going to get better with age. Let's just <laughs> move on. Um. So then we have these. Yeah, these are better. You like these? They're better. I mean that that Angels one again. We've seen that patch and logo combo quite a bit. I mean that's pretty much a watermelon rip off there. Um, but I mean I, I I like the orange and the yellows and the. I'm not gonna buy any of them, but they're not bad. Yeah, we we've, we've been seeing a lot of people use uh, orange lately, like the safety orange. Um, I think that's a little darker than safety orange, though. Yeah, this stuff almost like dirty. I ask you guys a question. So, what's the difference between? So, you guys are watching my fitteds like I am. Is my fitteds? Is there a slide come up for my fitteds or no? Yes. Should be. Yeah. All right, we'll wait. We'll wait. I want. I want to know how it's how, what you guys think is being done differently there than here. Okay. I want to. I want to hear about that. Okay. Well, a lot of this is not changing much. Uh, in terms of the side patch or the front logo, it's just changing the hat color. But don't the don't the side like the side patch on that red LA hat doesn't it just look cheap? Yes, it just looks cheap. But some of them they didn't touch the side patch, and then to me that looks cheap too. No, the the yellow LA in the lower right, I'm okay. I, I think mean, it looks good. Okay, I think the um, uh, gosh, it's. I think the other yellow LA is okay. I think the Yankees in that green is okay. I don't know the rest of them. I don't. I don't. Again. Uh, stashed oh. came with another four pack. <laughs> this is a miss for you, Pierre. I I bought. I picked up um, their last their last release. They had a, a two tone. Uh, in dark colors, um, Montreal Expos cap. Those white ones, like the, the this white is a, on guys. This is a terrible week in caps. Honestly, this is this should have been titled "Terrible Week in Caps." It's the LA is passable. The LA hat's passable. I think. Really, I like I like the dark the black ones, but yeah, the the, the, ones. the white on white. I don't I don't like that. Me neither. I mean, make make the logos yellow or blue or green or something. Just not white on white. They add a lot of white to the patch too. It seems like I don't know, or maybe there is a lot of white there, and we're just not used to seeing it. But yeah, I really like that Oakland A's one. Really? Yeah. Oh, the oh the two tone. Yeah. yeah, the the black and green one. Yeah. I don't like any of these ones, guys. Yeah. <laughs> this is rough. Uh, fourth quarter shop dropped two two green hats. I do like these. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty standard. Uh, old A's and then the Mexican baseball. I do like um, Hat Club did a better job with that swinging A's one though when they did a yellow front panel. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, Ricky Henderson vibes. Um, here you go, my fit. It's right. what you want to talk about. I mean, this is, this is a good mix here. Doesn't this look better than what we just saw? Do you think it's the photography, the shelves? I mean that helps for sure. It helps, but yeah. These, so you're these, right. These yeah, are, I'm sure. these are just better color combinations too. Like that, I don't know that the the bottom uh, is that the Dodgers mid bottom middle. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's the Dodgers. You got that Yankees patch. I I opted out of this one. But that, but, that um, back in that that guy. Okay, I mean, I don't even know if that's royal, but that looks really clean. And that Carhartt Diamondbacks mm -hmm. hat to me is. Nice. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, they're definitely, definitely got some great pictures at MyFitness. They know what they're doing when they're taking the pictures there.
which helps. Definitely helps. But these, but listen, see that, see that Diamondbacks hat right there. Mm -hmm. That's nicer than anything we've seen from any of those other stores. Oh yeah. Without a doubt. Just even that black, uh, Chicago White Sox with the green under. So when you look at the patch on that Diamondbacks hat, right? Nice and clean. Didn't fuck with it too much. Then they take the the little diamonds on the back of the Diamondback snake and make the under visor pat, match it perfectly. It doesn't go too far. It's not too outlandish. That's that hat to me looks good. Mm -hmm. The, the White Sox. The... I bought that White Sox hat from them about two years ago. Yeah. Call me boring. I like the White Sox one the best, but because it has that real retro feel. Yeah, I love that hat too. I'm not I'm not sold on that that undervisor on that Robin's hat. Is that like a Miami kind of vice colorway? How, how do you guys feel yeah. about the Robin's hat? Do you like the that what? hat? Here? Which one? The Brooklyn Robins, the the left corner. I one. have that one in the original colorway, which is a light blue. Yeah. Right? It's a light blue from from a couple years ago from them. This one is too bright for me, but right. I like what they're doing. It doesn't look cheap. No. How do you guys feel about the butter bombs? I like them. I like them. Yeah. You like them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like them. On the right cap. Yeah. Um, another orange. Uh, I think TJ ended up grabbing this hat and wanted to sell it. The One of the two super bright ones. Too bright, but yes. Frank Stein of the year. I, but I at least get what they're trying to do there. Because those are two very common patterns you'll see and Hunter's wearing. My favorite hat on here is that I have the Detroit one. I love that hat. A, that's a nice hat. I like, doing the, one with like, I like the White Sox one. Because it reminds me of that like that Jay-Z kind of colorway. Which one? The white one? The It's it's like an off-white. It's like a peachy almost. Like that 444. Oh, I like that. I do like that. Yeah. Is that a black under though? I don't even remember. It was uh, like a, I think it was like a blacked out urban camo. Oh, okay. That's cool. Straight black. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Frankenstein of the year has to go to the. Well, we'll get to that later. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Uh, and then the infrared um, white socks. That one's kind of crazy. That it's a little bright. Kind of, kind of reminds me like almost like the J tips colorway almost, but. It's it's out there. I mean, they're going for it. I like it. And then, uh, Pierre, you really like the uh, the black and gold Mets one. That's I cool. like every hat on this on this on this um slide. Did I you do not the like the Brewer one. It's way too bright. You like the top two, Pierre? Yeah, I like the grape soda one. I like the Brewers one. Mm -hmm. I like the I, I I especially like that. You know that Minnesota one's my one of my top ten caps of the year so far. Yes, yeah. It's way better in hand too. I don't. That thing is that thing is great. Um, I also like that New York Giants cap. Mm -hmm. If I had to choose, if I had to lose one of these caps, it would be the Milwaukee Brewers. That would be my least favorite of the four, but I like them all. Yeah. You cut the slime green. Um, no, it's a lot of that green. <laughs> it's like a legend of the ooze. Yeah. Um, and they they kept it going. Uh, the classic P. Along with uh, the red outline with 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 the uh, Pittsburgh, those two look really good. Yeah, um, these all look great. I like them all. Yeah, yeah. these ones were hit. Is that a silver logo on that Yankees and teal. Looks like it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. That's similar to what is on the Minnesota cap. Okay, yeah, I really like that one. I don't like the Yankees. You guys know that, but both those caps to me are good looking. Yeah. So and they use only Yankee side patch on it too. So the Bronx awesome. Social is doing nice with their Yankee hats too. I can't complain. Yeah. They're very no, simple. Yeah. They got the right. They got the right New York on the front, and then they do a nice clean patch on the side. I, I can't complain about that stuff. No, those should be coming up too. So, yeah. Um, NewEraCap.com as well as Laker Shop dropped the Born X Raised and Born Born and Raised yeah. website too. Yeah. Um, the patch looks like really cheap. It's like that sewn on kind of slapstick kind of patch. Yeah. This is as far as the community, I mean it probably this sold out, right? Sold out, crushed everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. They have a good following. Um, yeah. I have the whole their whole Lakers capsule. I mean uh Dodgers capsule that came out 
well, like a year ago. They're yeah. priced pretty well too, right? It's not too crazy. More than too bad. I think they were sixty bucks rather than. I think it was sixty fifty nine ninety nine on the New York app. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's about right. I mean, you're dealing with the boutique; everyone's got to get their cut. Mm-hmm. It's not as bad as the Union ones. The Union ones, I think, were eighty. So, uh, leaders uh, came yeah. back with a two drops. Um, the one on the right, I think, is a restock um, of an old design, and I read that on their IG that they're going to do, I think, a drop a week. So that's pretty exciting. So. That's good. I, I'm glad to see them back. Yeah, leaders out of Chicago, great company. Their All Star Game stuff this year was off the off oh. the chain, man. I mean, I yeah. loved it all. Yeah, yeah. West Side Love dropped a blackout version mm-hmm. of um of this hat. This one's kind of cool because the fingers actually make a heart. That's kind of cool. <laughs> they they all do. Yeah, that, that's their logo, Leon. That's their thing. <laughs> well, I didn't catch it till right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not a gang sign. Sign that's uh, you know. Um, Bronx Social dropped uh, a couple hats. We'll talk about uh, the top three a little bit later. Yeah, I love how you you guys you you and some of, some of my friends liked it until I until I told you what the B was. Yeah. Oh, um, I knew what the B was right away. No, I didn't know. You weren't on the text string that I'm talking about. Oh, I'm not cool enough for that. But oh, you are cool enough. You just weren't on this particular um, text string. <laughs> Um, Noble North dropped two hats. Uh, as our resident uh, Noble North expert, Jason, you want to you want to talk about these ones? Uh, sure. I didn't know. Okay, add that to my <laughs> resume. Uh, but yeah, uh, these are his uh, signature logo uh, on uh, two different colorways, um, two new colorways, I should say, for a shop: uh, teal and black, and and uh, you know Oakland A's dark green and, and athletic gold. Um, don't sleep on Noble North. He's doing some great things up there. Keep it up, Ryan. Yeah. I don't think uh, – did these ones sell out? He usually sells out right away. Uh, I think there's still some available in the uh, dark green and gold. I haven't checked on the teal one yet, but I think it's mostly gone. Yeah, he, he's uh, he's dropping good stuff over there, so shout out to Ryan. Um, Team Collective um, dropped – this um i guess they're kind of watching what usa baseball is doing and they're kind of dropping alternate um canada baseball stuff so this one's kind of interesting um diamond era baseball canada at the back black nasty um you know what i think would have been better on this cap though what um what's that game that cornhole Hmm. maybe if they maybe if they put the cornhole guy on the back Instead of the, you know, where that baseball can is, just put the cornhole guy back there. Yeah. Me. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I like I these logos though. I like the, I like the, I like the Team Canada logos. Yeah, it just sucks. W- weren't they supposed to do World Baseball Classic? Was it supposed to be this year? Or I don't even know. The Corona's got everything all, all kind of fucked up. But, um, yeah, I think it was supposed to be this year because I grabbed a bunch of the hats that. I didn't yeah, you did. Them. You grabbed like um Pakistan, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They dropped a a sweater or something. Yeah. So hopefully uh they get that tournament going because because those are some of my favorite hats. On field hats, anyways. Old baseball classic. Um they dropped a Black Panther um pre-order. Now I know the proceeds or some of the proceeds go to benefit uh, Canadian Cancer Society. So if you wanna um, Wakanda Forever, you, you can get one of these hats. Um, he has another one with a tribal under. That's the one I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, um, I am too. He's having blacked out, the blacked out uh, camel. I hate that. So I don't know. I don't mind it. Yeah, I forget what it's called, but there's a specific name for this camel. But if he just would have went plain, plain. Oh, we, there was a bunch of MLB caps that came out like this. I liked them. I I, I did like this. They look they look good in hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have one from Lids. I don't know. It's too shimmery and shiny, but I guess that kind of emulates a panther. So. I don't know. It wasn't Lids where I got it though. These were a new era, new era.com release. Mm-hmm. That's right. I don't and think it's the same as the, I don't think I don't think it's the same as the ones that were at Lids, Leon. And this was the same, same pull- style that my fitted was using on those unders. This yeah. this material here. Yeah. I think the one you're talking about up here is like the that's called Midnight Camel, I think. Yeah, I gotta pull it out to remind myself. But there that's was, what this is. 
There was one that Lids did with a gold under visor. Yeah, no, that thing was like super shiny. This is different. Okay. This is so that camel right there on, on the cap is so subdued when it's in hand, you could barely tell it's there. All right. Maybe uh maybe I'll change my mind and hit a pre-order on this one. But either way, you know, rest in peace, peace, Chaswick Bolden. Um, cool thing, he had it in the works anyway, but it kind of worked out. So um Canadian Cancer Society will benefit. Um, Jay, you want to talk about these two? Yeah, uh, so Round Rock Express um, did a lime green and heather um, version of their Chupacabra um, Copa. So it's got a lime green under, so if you're a fan of that. And then uh, they also did a retro Austin Senators um, throwback, if you will. So, yeah, big fan of those. Definitely That's picking up one of those. T TJ said that to us in the, in the text chain saying he wanted to jump on this one. It's cool seeing a lot of the MILB teams kind of take it back, doing a lot of retros or even bolt backs and stuff like that. So, Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they have the rights to them all. <laughs> so might as well use them. Yeah. Uh, clink Room drops Ooh, six. I like some of these, man. They drop six hats. Uh, here are the first five. Um, wh what are some of the, the highlights here for you uh, in this batch, Pierre? Um, Jacobo's uh, Barbarian. Barbarian. I, yeah. It's like Barber, Barbarian, but it's, yeah, yeah, like I mean, that, it's yeah. Barbarian. So just go with that, but it's spelled like Barber. Um, but that, I think that's, I think that thing's cool, man. Yeah. What about the Walnut and UCLA colorway burrito guy? Walnut made, made a comeback this week. <laughs> and <laughs> fucking Walnut, man. I mean, you know that, listen, I think this is going to do... This hat's going to meet the minimum, right? Oh, because yeah. it's a cool logo. It is. But I think cool. much like Kyle's bird dogs, I think the color of the hat is going to turn people off. Yeah, it's I, really I just really, I really do. I think the color of the hat, I mean, does, does, would you buy that, Leon? The blue throws it off. So if you would have kept it, let's say you replace all the blue with white, you a, white, a white brim hat? No, no, no. It, sorry, the blue in the logo. You yeah. put that with like a white or a silver, and then you make the brim brown. So it looked like a Padres, brown and gold, maybe. The avocado ones, that I think in Monday Morning Crits, like in the voting was like 20% favorable. Um, They made some changes to it. I, I don't know, man. The taco taco, that's the squid one. I like that. I, yeah, I got some issues with the the white between his head and his tentacles. Hopefully, they correct those when they go embroider it. Is he winking? Is he yeah. winking and kissing? Is that a kissing motion? It's like a little kissy face. He's about to eat the taco, man. He's, he's blowing the taco a kiss before he eats it. Weird, because that's usually like where the gill is of the of the octopus. I don't know. It's a weird. I don't know. The winner for me on this page is is uh, Jacobo's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that thing is cool. That thing's cool and different, man. I always think like um, two tone hats look better when you're mocked up. When you when they're mocked up, like even I have a a problem. That's no, not a problem, but like I have a tendency to mock it up two tone. But finished product though, to me always looks better mono. But that that's personal preference. I guarantee. I think that hat's gonna look good when it's in hand. It's so bright though, the top. Which one? The the barber. No man, that looks good. That's a sub, that's like a bluish gray. Yeah. That's like that's the not a bright. That's not a bright blue. Besides navy, that's the least. No, no, I'm saying the brim. Get. The brim is like a bright color. It's gray. It's gray, dude. <laughs> I don't know. It's and it's the same color. I, I don't like the brim when it's the same. Yeah, bright is the lower right hand corner. Yeah, that one's bright. No, I'm not saying I don't like yeah. the hat. That that hat's got lighter. Some retro, it's got a, a retro color. feel to it, right? It's a yeah. lighter color. I feel like that's gonna get dirty. You're just lo you're looking for reasons to hate. No, that I'm, hat. Not. I'm not. I'm just giving my opinion. I don't Nap know. Napkins help too, Leon. Yeah, your hats from getting dirty. 
Leon did say Leon other? did say a crown wipe saved his life the other day. Right, they did. So. They did. What, what What do you think the under is? The under is the same as the over on that one, right? On which one? The barber. The barber. Yeah, Looks green it. gray. Gray gray. Yeah, I don't know. Well, Leon, you can what sleep on the hat. I'll, you can sleep on the hat. I'll buy it, and then you'll wish you bought it when you see it in hand. Well, we'll see. We'll wait. Well, well, Leon, are you? Well, hold on, go back. Are you? You like the avocado? No. I don't like, like it. It looks like it looks a little Kyle <laughs> Kyle Lowry ish to me. Well, it looks like how J Jalen Brown was trying to shoot today. Um, it looks like Kyle Lowry to me. Look at him. Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Dates like Kyle Lowry. That's for damn sure. Um, <laughs> like little little chubby Kyle Lowry taking a jump shot. <laughs> out of out of all of them, uh, the barber's kind of cool. Um, the the octopus is kind of cool, but I don't know. These these were kind of a miss for me. This week, really? Th this this cohort, yeah. All right. I like the one on the next one. I like the one on the next slide. But out of these one, I don't know. I don't think I'll make a move on any of these ones. That's no, it. I'm getting the bar. I'm getting the bar. The barbarian one for Dude, sure. As, as a huge Save by the Bell fan, I really want the bottom right, but I don't know if I'm actually going to do it. I'm. I might. I might jump on that one. That's no, Jay Matz. That's let, Jay Matz too. I know. I'm going to let it marinate for a few weeks and see what I decide. But does that one scream say by the bell to you? I don't know. All right, let me ask you guys. Can I ask you, can I ask you guys a question? Yeah. You got this in front of you right now, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You're forced to buy these, or you can select five other ones from those from the New York City stores. Oh, no, other than my fitted, you know, the you know the, the exclusive fitted world. I'm buying all five of these. Leon, I would take any one of these over that one slide we saw. I'm, I'm pocketing my money. And <laughs> no, no, no! I didn't ask you that. You have to. Do one, you have to do. You have to pick a door here. All right. Uh, for rarity factor, I probably just buy the clink stuff then. All right. But Remember, the more people that sleep on these and they get the minimum, the rarer the hat is. Yeah, for sure. Which is kind of cool. Like sometimes, if you're if you're on the fence about something. Like if you think the barber, the barbarian's only gonna sell like thirty six, jump. Oh, that one's gonna sell way more than thirty six. I think so, but that one's cool. I'm not gonna get the Kyle Lowry, um, for sure. I'm not gonna <laughs> <No>. get um. <laughs> get the Cato Lowry. I'm not gonna get. I, I'll. I'm pro. If I'm gonna go anywhere, it's gonna be the barber. Taco Taco. And then um, the the um, Save by the Bell, um, the Save by the Bell. The other two I, I would leave. The blue is really throwing me off. The brown hat. Yeah, that one I would buy if it was on a different color cap. Yeah. Yeah, the brown's really throwing me off. I one. can't stand that brown. That walnut brown. Like, go the fuck away. Like, why no, are you? Why no are we in our lives? Like, why did you? Why? Why is walnut brown <laughs> invading our lives? Well, I only want to see that on a San Diego Padres hat. That's it. This 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 week was definitely dominated by uh, brown and orange. Like no, it was dominated by a couple of things, right, Leon? Yeah. Walnut, and then garbage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Walnuts do stink. Well, today I learned that a walnut comes in a husk. Um, but moving on. Okay. Um, Pierre, you want to talk about this? Yeah. So, um, John from Ink Park, man, always killing it. So we um, we got together. Um, I didn't like the idea of the taco league. So, um, so John said he was going to make me a believer in the taco league and we were going to work together to create something pretty cool. And I, and this is what we came up with. So obviously, you know, I have the um, artistic ability of a five-year-old, but when I have um, a thought or an idea and John has a thought or an idea, he is a genius at putting it, putting it into, uh, into action, into a logo. So I did do an Instagram live with him um that that's up on my wall that you guys can kind of kind of uh kind of watch if you if you'd like and it goes through the story of it and our thoughts behind it but also we're going to do a contest so um we've got it'll be posted on my wall it's posted on the instagram uh tv um link on my wall um and then i'll post it again tomorrow and john's gonna post it um if you if you follow the the four rules and you do those four things you have an opportunity to win one of these for free so we'll announce the winners next saturday on the show um but i just thought it was a cool way to engage people around it 
um, give back a little bit. Um, so um, I look forward to that, but I, I really like this hat, man. I mean, I know a lot of people are like, Oh, the green under, but listen, the hat just works. You know, it just works. It looks I, good. I think the green under is a nice touch because it's not overpowering on the top and it ties it all. in. So I was thinking about going with a yellow squatchy, but I decided, um, I decided that that would have been a no brainer. If it had a yellow squatchy, I would have bought it the minute it came out. But you know, none, none of this is a uh, glow in the dark though, right? No, no, no. Oh, good. The scythe almost looks like the glow in the dark green to me, but I knew I don't I don't like those gimmick I don't like those yeah. little gimmicky things, man. You know that. Yeah, yeah, I was just checking, just checking. If uh, I did do go with the yellow squatchy, that was gonna be glow in the dark though. Yeah, yeah. The beacon. So that would definitely be a homing beacon. The homing beacon. The yeah. Beacon. yeah. Oh. <laughs> but uh good job. Get it at now clinkroom.com or the clinkroom.com for the next three weeks. Get your pre-orders in. Uh, we had uh, one hat come out um, or a preview. I don't even think this hat is even out yet. So uh, Hoon Report um, is calling this the local history. So unfortunate part of these hats is they're all retro crown. Yeah, this is a poor man's. Uh, what, what, what was that? Uh, what, do, what do we call that timeline hat from uh, Hat Club? This is the poor man's version. Yeah, it's, this is even like a poor man's Ebbets Field almost, right? Dude, Ab yeah, don't mess with Ebbets Field when it comes to like this kind of stuff, you know. Like these guys, stay in your lane, New Era. Leave those retro crowns for new for Ebbets Field and continue to do the fifty nine fifties. You know, this is. I mean, come on, look at this thing. The these things look like it looks like like you know just felt logos that someone just sewed on the front of these things, and they're not even good. Like look at the, look at the two Boston ones. Look yeah, it's a bad look. It's um, bad. These are these look bad. So Hoon was saying um, he was talking to some insiders at a yeah. New Era, um, South Korea, or Korea, um, and they were saying they don't have a lot of fifty nine fifties on on route. So it's a lot. No, of because they're they're all all the customers out there want the retro crowns and those and and those yeah. softer looks and a lot of uh, dad hats and flex fits and adjustables. Yeah. Where we were ten, you know, where we were six years ago. Yeah. So that's unfortunate because they do come up with some cool looking hats, but uh, 5950 is not really in their uh, immediate plans. So that's terrible. Yep. And then that takes us to the end of that segment. So hopefully, oh, I don't mess that while I pull up the other one. So in theory, to, uh, to, uh, to what's it called? Two uh, slideshows was going to be really easy, but it's already proving to be very hard for me for some reason. Well, we get that figured out for you. Not half as so, hard as it could be when, we, when you when you do your uh, when you do your uh, weepers. The weepers. Yeah. I'm excited. So, Pierre, do you want to introduce? introduce, introduce the, uh, oh yeah, I, I can introduce it. So. This will be the new segment we do um, after the week in review, which will be um, the keepers, which are each of our, our best cap of the week, really, right? Then the mm -hmm. sleepers, which which would be a cap that we think kind of snuck up on the world. Um, and then the weepers. Um, we've been doing a lot of weeping, but I think it's all going to culminate into this one perfect weep, which will be the cap that we dislike the most this week. Um, so I guess we can get started, right, Leon? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I uh, want to thank um, Jason Mead for putting this together because Jason uh, did an excellent job. Leon, like Leon did all the graphics. So. Oh, he did? Yeah, Leon did the graphics. I did the, the pictures. Leon, are you a hugger? Yes. Am I a hugger? Yeah. You know he is. You I look like know. a hugger. He's like the perfect hugging yeah, yeah, like, he's like, he's like, like a hugger, you know? He's the kind yeah. of guy that goes up to people just like, you know, just gives him a hug. Well, we'll ask Derek later if Leon's a hugger. Because they hung out. Socially week. distant, I um, mean, Derek and me, but... Uh, yeah. I saw you weren't wearing your mask in that picture, though, Leon. Well, that's because Leon's a vampire, and vampires don't get Rona. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Leon, is that... Is, so can I ask one other question, Leon, since you put this together, right? Um, the sleeper, right? Mm-hmm. Is that your <laughs> your sleeping position? Is that normally how <laughs> uh, you when you retire for the evening? Is that like the way you kind of 
Like, I think I'm a violent sleep. I never wake up in the same position. Uh, pillows always end up on the floor. Um, I probably do not sleep that soundly. And getting back to Kyle Lowry, um, it's interesting that you used his um, his face for the weepers. <laughs> well, sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get the calls. So I really like it. We, I love what you did here. You like it? Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, thanks for clear. I also noticed that uh, Jason Mead's expression is way more intense when I put it next to both of our I mean, graphics. That's, that's just the way we are. The, the, the logo, though, I want to I wanna mirror it sometimes. I want to flip it because sometimes I want to use it, but it's yelling at the wrong direction. Well, you, you can do that with any. I'll show you how to do that with an image engineering program. Yeah, I, I, I need it because I want to be able to reverse this baby. Yep. We can do All that. right, Leon, enough talking about your graphic skills. My oh. keeper of the week. I think this isn't sneaking up on anybody, right? This Minnesota Twins. 1991 World Series by my fittings with the Urban Camo under. Um, this clearly was my my keeper of the week. Um, I, I love this hat. I can't say enough about it. I won't talk about it anymore after today's show. Um, I'll move on, but I love this hat. Yeah, love that silver logo on it. I love yeah. it. Got the, it's got the Urban Camo. Um, so my keeper of the week is a uh, Bronx <laughs> Dolshul. Um, when I first saw his hat, I was like, yo, this is a cool hat. It's uh, members only. It's got a cool patch on it. And it's got that that kind of uh, that Jay-Z vibe, the 444 album with that peach almost and black. Um, sharp looking hat when I first saw it. So it is. Yeah, it's a really nice looking hat. Uh, yeah, if you watched my top nine earlier, you knew this would be my favorite one of the week. So this is kind of like a if they had a uh, gold program back in 1905, this is what it would look like. And my fit is did a great job of just a great job on this hat. Mm -hmm. And Pierre's uh, sleeper of the week. Um, this one's not from hat club though, right? No, this is from for you caps. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. I just love the way they did this. And I'm a sucker now for this old, I just posted on my Instagram too. This old English C that that was used way back when. I mean, there's not a lot of baseball teams that have a 150 year anniversary. No, mm -hmm. but uh, I love that that old logo, and they just did a great job with this. All black, red under. Didn't mess with the patch too much. Um, they did take, you know, Hat Club when they did these patches had a silver where the black is, but this one is just black. I I just like this cap. It's it's just a really nice hat, man. And I think it really snuck up on people. I don't. I, I don't think enough people paid attention. Um, it did sell out, so some people did pay attention. But I don't think this hat was talked about at all. And um, I, I don't know. I just think it's a gorgeous hat. Yeah, it's a nice looking hat. Uh, Crooks and Castles used the C for a while when the the red stopped using it. So that's pretty interesting. What this one? Yeah. Well, it's a standard like old English C. I think even China uses it. Yeah, but this yeah. is. I mean, but this is this is what C Cincinnati used. I think. Yeah. 150 years ago yeah well it's the yeah it's the red sea so the only so china is older but crooks and castles isn't yeah well you know china china's a line of bootleggers so whatever i wasn't i didn't say that you said that i that old I english C, i just think is, is really sharp yeah it is nice yeah uh it's, to me leaders uh was a sleeper of the week i just even like mm -hmm. um they hadn't released anything from from my knowledge since uh, all-star game so and even before that they they stopped really re regularly releasing stuff so this is um one of their uh, og designs so uh, glad to see them back um and awesome to hear that they're going to be uh dropping stuff um on a weekly basis hopefully so yeah mine was the all black from uh west side love um i really help, love how they turned out and this one turned out and they just didn't black out everything. They kept the heart red. Um, I think it's just a clean, clean blackout edition of their logo. And it's still available. So a lot of people are sleeping on this. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm still amazed that that's a heart. <laughs> um, how, how did yeah. you not see that before? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. It's the love part of Westside Love before. I'm, uh, I'm behind with a lot of these things. Like, um, I'm like that guy that calls the extra expos hat JB hats. No, you're not. <laughs> uh, so Pierre, I guess uh, didn't like the sh the chic luch silverback. 
No. This is um what was the retail on this? 65. Was this? Too much. No, this was 80. This was 80. Right, 80 right, bucks right. for this. I believe so. Uh, I'm gonna check quick. Don't bother. All right. This versus those fake uh staple hat pigeon. Who wins? <sighs> In a cap if out. I had to buy this or the the fake staple pigeon, yeah, with the fake bird shit, with the fake fake bird shit, I buy this because I think it would be easier to flip. Yeah, I think if I bought the staple pigeon knockoff, that actually loses value after you pay for it, like a like a car, like a car. Right when you drive off the lot, it immediately loses value. Okay, I think that that pigeon one, I. I I would have to cut the retail price to sell it. This one, I think I would be able to get retail for it. I, I don't know. What's even worse about this one is the red version they did in a snapback. Can I be honest with you? There's no way King Kong's that fucking big. <laughs> yeah, the, like, the, the building's not to scale. If that's no, it. like, isn't that that's the, the, is that's it, the entire it, building, right? Yeah, that's the entire building, right? Yeah, no, King Kong was not that big. Maybe that's the rampage. So, so where are his legs? Is he kneeling as he does this to the Empire maybe State Building? Standing in the sewer? On the, Not a maybe. sewer. He'd have to be standing in the ocean. Well, there's no well, way climb in that building. Maybe he grabbed the Empire State Building like it was a like it was a fucking toothpick, brought it to the to the Atlantic you know Ocean, jumped in with it, and played with it. Like I know what happened. Ducky. Where are his legs though? That's what I want to know. No, no, no. He went to the Empire State Building. And bought and went to the gift shop on the ground floor and bought the biggest replica <laughs> statue of the Empire State Building they had. And he's posing with it outside. Either way, this is a fucked up hat. Correct. Yeah, not a fan. And, this, and the crazy thing is, is they had a line around the block for this thing. For this? Yes. For this? This was like an 8 p.m. drop for them. Or something like that, and they they on social media they have a line. Literally. And I like the for you I like the for you caps guys. I was in the store. Yeah. I saw this hat live. Yep. And I did. In all fairness, I told them I didn't like it in the store. Maybe they got. Maybe they had a lot of fans waiting in line to meet Sheik Luch. You know, D Block gets a lot of love. Are King Kong's eyes red? No, no, no. He's a just a regular old ape. So. Well, gigantic. Just obviously, ape. Bigger, not bigger. Timothy McFly's piping in and he's saying this hat's clean. What are you talking about? Uh, Timothy, I would like you to describe what you mean by clean. Um, like if you just uh, washed it, yes. The back, the back, the back embroidery doesn't even look straight and it's not even the miggity. Like, I don't know, like just it just looks miggity, bad. it's mighty. <laughs> I know, I know, but it's just like it's like it's just not even clear, like it's not even straight. Like, come on. What's clean about it though? I don't know what clean like it's, it's not, not no clean clean would be if you took everything else off of the hat except for the NY and the batterman. That's clean. I mean, or or maybe he means it's not dirty. I mean, if you like remove the, the King Kong and be listen, clean is another one of those overused terms in the hat clean, world. Clean fire dope. I use it. It's so I use clean. It it's so clean. It's so yeah. clean. Well, what's clean about this? That's what I want to know. So um, clean, clean, clean. Oh, fire, dope, 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 fire, fire, clean, clean, not, clean. You're still not describing this hat. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Whatever. You, no, I am describing the hat. You'd have to be on dope to buy it. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Maybe they really wanted to meet Sheik Luch. That's why there was a lineup. I, I, I can't. So explain. I grew up, I grew up, I love the locks growing up, but not this hat. Yeah. So uh, this hat Wait. was. This Leon, one. wasn't this your keeper of the week? <laughs> it was my keeper and my sleeper. Oh, Leon's throwing a little fucking curveball, everybody. <laughs> First week, we got the gate. Leon's going to mess it all up. No, so I really liked the look of this hat. I thought it was cool. Members only. Um, yeah. And then Pierre burst in my bubble, and he's like, isn't that the Boston Braves beat? So yeah. I took the hat and put it on the weeper list. Um, and then yeah. I found out the price. I think it was like $80. So, yeah, yeah, eighty-five. I think you didn't see why? the batterman on the back. Yeah, did I see the what? The batterman on the back. What's wrong with it? No, I'm just saying. So it's you knew fair. it was the Major League Baseball logo. Uh I don't even remember. 
I just saw it and I thought it was a cool looking hat. I thought the premise was cool. This is literally a Boston Braves hat with a bronze side, side patch. patch. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I didn't know that. So I learned something. Um, yeah. Well, then I put it on my Reapers list. Now, I love, yeah, if you take away all the, the Bronx social stuff, that's an excellent hat. Yeah. 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 I, all, you know how much I love the Boston, the, the Boston Braves caps. I have a ton of them. Yeah. Every one of them. I like these, that color too. Every one of these I would buy in that in the colorways without all the patches and stuff but there's nothing i gotta tell you man boston and new york city wise are like mortal enemies yeah so right? does it bother you that they're using this b um i'm flattered <laughs> all right i'm Actually, flattered and boston that- should be flattered right it's wow you know but as a new yorker who why would you want a boston braves cap that's like it's like pretending Brooklyn. to be a, a Bronx cap. Why would they use like the Brooklyn Dodgers? Or because it's it's used so but it's the Bronx, right? So I guess they'd rather be Boston than the other borough. I, I guess. It's a weird move. It's a very weird move. This is I, a, this I, is a very I, weird move. I think they did a great job picking these colorways. That royal with that gold. Oh yeah, logo yeah, yeah. Was fantastic. Yeah. But everything else is good. Even yeah. the side patch is kind of cool looking. Yeah, yeah, the members only is really cool. Yeah. This was a this reeks of T, this reeks of T Mark. Well, it's his shop, isn't it? No. No, I think he works with them though, doesn't he? He yeah. does a lot of work with them, but this reeks yeah. of T Mark. Maybe they thought people wouldn't wouldn't find out, wouldn't be exposed. Um, they're not smart enough to know. Cause I, I, they, they fooled me right off the bat. I'm like, well, that's a good looking hat. It took me about a half a second. <laughs> he told they, me right away. You well, as, soon as, I, as soon as I saw the Batterman, I knew it was. A you know what they should have done? They should have used the Boston Red Sox B. Yeah. Might as well. Might as well. It's a. It's it's, it's such a shame because this is a nice hat. But anyway, that's my weeper of the week. Thanks for that curveball. Oh, the Frank the Stein. All right. So, so we've been talking about my fitteds a lot lately, and they've been doing some great, great stuff. This hat is not an example of that, though. I think they missed. I think they Fair missed enough. the mark on this one. Um, you know, I watch a lot of cooking shows because um, I'm a fan of what I can't do, and and one of the things on there is is what differentiates a, a great chef from a good chef is learning how to edit, learning how to uh, take stuff away. Um, the more flavors on a plate doesn't mean, mean it's going to be good. So I think this one just has about three elements too many. Um, the glow in the dark, the team describe, the side patch, the under, the pink logo. Why is it the pink lo- Why is there a pink star though? I, I don't I don't know. I mean, if you take away about three of these elements, you have the basis for a great hat. But all of it together is just way too much. Yeah. Houston Astros hat in a Houston Rockets colorway with the rocket on the front might be a cool hat, right? I like the Houston bandana Astros. under, though. I like the bandana under. You yeah. put you give me the pink star and that bandana under 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 on a red hat. Boom, you got a winner. Yeah, if you took the rocket off the front and the side patch, I, that has perfect to me. I like yeah. it. Well, not perfect, but I like it. I'll well, you got to change the pink star, though. The pink star makes no sense. I like it. The is there pink star. elements? It, it looks like there's pink in the um, in the bandana. Like light pink elements, right? No? No, uh, I think that's just the – maybe the picture, too. I don't mind the pink star. That's not – by itself, I don't mind that pink star. But with all the other things, yeah, it's too much. In the glow especially, especially if you're not going to make the side patch pink too. If the side patch is orange, keep the, the orange star. But then orange and red clash. I don't know. It's just too much for this hat. I do this like that under. This is 2020 in a nutshell, though. No, 2020 in a nutshell is the if that, they put a, that other slide that yeah. That we that we labored through for about 25 minutes probably bored everybody, but yeah. Yeah, who knows? We still got we still got some people watching live, so who knows? Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the end of it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the segment. 
um, that was kind of fun for us to kind of put together. Um, hopefully, you know, we'll have some, some cool stuff to report on next week, but, but yeah, Aaron, that's, that's the quintessential, um, Frankenstein hat. Like that is the Frankenstein. Yep. When we say Frankenstein, that's the kind of how we're talking about. Yeah, I think um, that's I, I. You know, I, I've seen worse versions. At least that one's got a cool under. But um, yeah, I'm with you. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the hat. Yeah. Not a big but fan. We uh, we pretty much did uh, a two hour show of just this weekend caps <laughs> and the keeper sleeper weeper. So that was pretty cool. I don't care. I don't care. I um, loved it, man. I loved every goddamn second yeah. of it. Even that yeah. slide from Sports One. This was a this was an interesting week. That we didn't was fun, have man. That was still fun. It was still yeah. fun. I mean, listen. Fun. I mean, at the end of the day, right? If 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 we're here, we're gonna share our feelings honestly, and that's it. I mean, mm-hmm. we're not we're not we're not on the take here. We're not getting paid by people. Like, if I don't like something, I'm gonna say it. I don't like what I don't like anything on that slide. That slide was that slide was horrible. The whole thing was horrible. You know, we don't have to spend our lives like mincing words and whatnot. We can just tell the truth. I agree. That slide was trash. I agree. Yeah. And if you, if, if I, I, it was hilarious for me to put it together though, because I'm like, <laughs> get the shit out of this fucking slide. Let's see how much yeah, money but you, I can serve. You guys act like I'm some sort of terrorist here. Like, you guys don't like that shit either. You don't like nothing on that slide. No. 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 Well, the red hat was decent, but other than that, it was yeah. all garbage. But don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't turn me into like this villain, right? <laughs> I'm not the one who Nobody fucking made those hats. No. I didn't make those I'm, goddamn hats. No, nobody's no. turning you into a villain. No, I'm just, I just, I just want people. This fear of missing out thing, right, guys, has got to stop. Because Prime fear of so. missing out is what's fueling that shit. It's fueling a lot of things, but that's a whole different show. You're not, and and lack of honesty leads to more shit. Yeah. You know, and yeah, and we can sit here and talk all day about how bad those hats look. The only way to make those kinds of hats stop is don't buy them. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe they're sold out already, though. A lot of more, yes. I yes. can't believe that. That, that, that. Listen, that is because there's nothing else to buy. That's got to be it. It's got to be it. Why else are you buying those things? They're, they're hideous. Hey, guys, if, if you miss out on a hat, it's okay. Save your money for the next one you like, not the next one you can get. This is the perfect storm, you know? The fucking Celtics lost. Yeah, I you know I, I've been laboring through this day, and then Leon, he's like a mad scientist. He's like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put these three slides right in the middle. You know what? Hey, he's just firing you up for views after dark. I'm just reporting. I'm just reporting the news, man. When they come in, <laughs> I'm sticking them on slides. Oh, you just reporting. Sticking them now, now you're just reporting the news, right? <laughs> now you're just reporting the good guy Leon just reporting the news. I'm gonna tell everyone. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start telling everyone all the things you say to me in private about these hats because you won't say them out loud. Oh, you know he's got that one, that orange, orange one on the way. Well, Leon's hats all, all come through either me or TJ. Oh, that's true. Yeah. TJ, yeah. we're like the hub. So we. I see what he buys. I can pull his shit out right now. He does buy nice shit. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, listen. This was fun. Pre, huh? pre- unbox. We could do pre unboxing live from your house and TJ's house. Um, because when you stick it in the mail, it's just gonna take forever to get here. Well, not for me. Well, when I do it, it usually gets there pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But we're gonna move this to uh views at the dark. Are are they ready for it? Well, they better be ready. Pierre's all fired up. Well, I think Views After Dark is right after this, so we'll, we'll go there. I know, Jason, you need to go spend a little family time and come back, right? Yep. yep. I don't. I'm all good. The kids don't want to be near me right now. <laughs> my daughter's probably talking to a bunch of friends. My son's on his Xbox, so we can do go right into Views After Dark. Sounds um, great. So what we'll do is, guys, um, thank you for watching. Um, This was laborious, I'm sure. Two hours of hats yahoo's talking about hats i will say though it, this was a good time for me i enjoyed it um i feel my i feel i feel relaxed now um so again the views after dark uh wednesday i'm not sure we have in store for wednesday um we're still kind of working out the details right well uh, we've secured uh norm from my ecap city 
Oh, cool. We just figure out which day. So, um, okay. We're just just getting the the contract ready to be signed. But yeah. We'll so do one of the two. Once we sign off, guys, stay on with me for a minute. Cause I gotta tell you guys something real quick. Um, but um, I guess we can we can we can kind of um, we can kind of end it here, right? Yeah. So Timothy McFly, um, DM us on uh, Instagram. Uh, views, um, views underscore from underscore the underscore vault or uh, one of the three. Our IGs are on here. We'll send you the link. Um, but it'll yeah. be a lot of fun. And be ready, Timothy McFly, to explain to us what you mean by clean. Yeah, yeah we're gonna we're gonna clean grill you. Yeah. So, all right. Be ready. Be ready. Timothy. All right, guys. Well, let's wrap up so we can, you know, get into views after dark. That's when the real fun starts to happen. All right, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, rate, review, do all that good stuff. We'll catch you guys soon. Stay fitted and uh, join us for views after dark. Take care, guys. <laughs>